we, we love the asset in Imperial. Uh, they're principally their Steveville asset, which they've put three wells into so far. Two of them look like they're going to be uh, productive wells. And so they've, they've been production tested. They've, they've completed every aspect of the exploration side. And now it's a matter of just turning these wells into production wells. So we, we saw that feathering in with what I just talked about with market dynamics and pricing and our ability to contract now with higher volumes at higher prices while the higher prices are here. It was, it was too good to pass up. So we took a swing at it. We made an aggressive pitch that made sense for Royal and Royal shareholders. And, and I think what, uh, what the Imperial Board and management saw was the ability to take their asset, which they've de-risked, and marry it up with a company that has as much or more runway for, for economic growth than any other public company that there is. Yeah, so, I'm glad you answered that because we want to know, look, this is still going to vote. And yeah. you know, there may be Imperial shareholders right now wondering, hey, why should I agree to this? Why is Royal going to help make one plus one four as opposed yeah. to just one plus one being two? Yeah, I mean, when you look at it, look at it now, I mean, adding the Steville asset and and they still there are other assets in their portfolio. Steville East is another one that looks like a, a bit of a mirror image of Steville. So we can put some wells there as well. Uh, but we wanted it initially to turn on those first two wells while we turn on our first wells at Climax. And then we go from you know having three wells producing to having five wells producing and the volume essentially doubles and when you're able to double volumes that you deliver to market uh, in a time of, of rising prices, that, that just makes too much sense to pass up. If you love that clip, give us a like, then hit the link to watch the full video. Don't forget to subscribe.